let's go ahead and take a look at a new developer here on the channel, and that is Boz. Uh, Boz Labs. Boz is a really cool developer, just independent, mainly started with effects, and there are some really cool effects. I actually got to work on a an early prototype of, of these pianos. This is um, a brand new uh, library, or actually two, two pianos, same model, and they're nearly a century apart. This is based on a Steinway Model L. It's a, it's like a, um, like a six foot, almost six foot. So we've got two, a 19, uh, 1926 model and a 1991. Okay, so I'm gonna pull this up. The cool thing about this is you do not need contact. So Boz has really been gracious to develop his own plugin. And I'm gonna just pull it up right here. And I love the design. So let's go to the 1926 first. And I went ahead, since I've got 64, I've got 64 gigs of RAM, so I went ahead and just loaded all the samples in here. And let's just play with this. There's two mic mixes that we can go to. Uh, we've got uh, a mic A and a mic B, and we can drop down and select between the close mic, mid side, wide, or we can empty it out. And same thing here. We've got close, mid side, wide, and room. So we can kind of mix and match. So let's just go to the close mic, and I'm just going to empty that out. So we'll just listen to the close mics first and listen to that. Just imagine playing a piano almost 100 years old. another one of the presets and just kind of um, let's go to a natural natural space it's definitely like a character piano you got this um And 
I don't think I ever played a, uh, a New York Steinway Model L library before. I think this is the first. Let's see, we got the mix settings and we can use the, um, we can use the mix knob to go between the two different positions. So when we have it uh, all the way over here, And I think that sounds like, that's a mono signal. Yeah, that's a mono signal. And we can just do, okay, let's see, interesting. Ah, okay. And then we can go to the room mic. So it looks like we can, um, that's interesting. Okay, there we go. For some reason, I had just one of them um, just selected. So the close mic is there. And the wide is uh, from the um, keys position. Very nice. And I don't have the reverb even turned on. And we can turn the reverb on and we can uh, go through some of these. Um, let's just do a huge dark space and see what happens with this. sustain. type of verb and let's see let's just check out one of the other ones um, like a medium room and we have control over the uh, just different aspects of that just 
just a little, just a little decay. And then we can just go ahead and just crank the room size up even more and just get a little bit larger. And I love that he's given us some really nice presets to use. Oh yeah, so this is a nice cut through. Yeah, so that's a really nice. Yeah, that kind of cuts through things. So, ooh. I'm hearing a lot of nice ringing, a lot of nice ringing out with that. Um, Okay, so that is the uh, 1926 piano. Let's go ahead and pull up the uh, 1991. And I think that's one of the cool concepts of this, uh, this library is the fact that you have the same model piano, but uh, in two totally different uh, decades, uh, which is kind of fascinating to me. So we're gonna close that and let's just hear what we've got uh, with the uh, 1926. Oh, 1991. Yeah, this is 1991. Yeah. And and this is what I started playing when I pulled up this 91. Brighter tone to it than the uh, than the older. It just got a little bit more, a uh, little more bite to it. Um, just got a little more something something to it. <clears throat> well, oh here, yeah, yeah, it. <clears throat> yeah, it's kind of got the same thing. Um, uh, let's see. Oh, yeah. It, because it's got the pedal tone. It's got the pedal. Yeah, it's it got the same thing. MacGyver Christmas Special. Yeah, yeah, 
he makes a Christmas tree out of uh, paper clips. Uh, that is funny, yeah. So, yeah, so it's the pedal, it's the pedal tone. You're holding that, um, Then same thing, but a different key. And Vince Guaraldi did those chromaticism type of thing where he would just walk down. Of fun and this is a fun piano to play uh, especially when you hear the history uh embedded inside of an instrument that's the thing these these instruments have so much history inside of them um and it's like you know if they could just tell their stories um it's amazing okay now now this is interesting so there's a preset that says light on resources so um it could load a different um sample set It's nice and dynamic. And dynamic meaning that I can just play soft and it plays soft, or I can dig into it and it gets loud. Oh, okay, let's, okay. Let's do, um, Oh, let's do uh, let's do somber, and let's see what the reverb's doing. Okay, we've got like uh, let's just crank the reverb up just a little bit. Let's see what mics for using here and let's pull the room mic okay so we've got an xy mic oh okay hey hey deja good to see you now let's see let's see if this will uh Then he would always do this, uh, do that kind of chord. Wow. I really didn't think it was a bad looking tree, Charlie Brown. All it needed was just a little bit of love. Wow. And that's what I love about pianos that different pianos, they just put you in different spaces. And it's like, that's where, that, that's just the classic sound. Uh, it's not perfect. It's, it, it's just got, it's alive. It's got 
life to it. And that's, um, that's what makes it special. And that was the somber preset. Um, let's just, uh, under the sea. Okay, let's see. Let's see what we've got there. Okay, so we've got a huge room size. Um, in a while with the effects. I'll get something. Let's see. beautiful tone, a uh, really beautiful tone to it. Um, let's listen to just the room. And and again, I agree with a lot of you guys uh, commenting on the interface. Um, I mean, I just, I love the, I love the aesthetic of it. I think it's really beautiful. Um, I tell you what we'll do. I tell you what I want to do with this. Um, um, I want to turn the reverb off and let's just put a uh, Let's put shimmer. Let's put a shimmer verb on this. Um, just put a shimmer verb on this so I can do that. Um, I can do that here. Let's see. Let's go. Okay. Let's go to Valhalla and go to shimmer. Let's just put a little shimmer verb on there. And we'll come back out here. Yeah, let's check that out. <laughs> I love Valhalla, Shimmer Verb, and Black Hole. Let's go. Now, this is the Shimmer Verb, so we'll go back here and let's... Um, Get the room mic, get like a 50-50 mix here.
Thank you, Mr. Tugwit, for that suggestion. That is just so nice. And one of the things about um, one of the things about shiver verbs and black holes and it's that you can't play fast. <laughs> you can't play too fast with them because um, you just gotta just let that tone breathe. Yeah. Because it just kind of all just kind of blurs together. Really cool. <laughs> wow. Okay, so you know what I'm gonna do? <clears throat> I'm gonna take a drink. <coughs> Hold on. Mm. Okay, yeah, so yeah, try a new. Well, now that I've been able to find them, uh, there was an issue with my installation that I didn't have, um, have them. So, um, okay. Oh, this is funny. Okay. So if you look, um, um, if you look at the Valhalla shimmer verb interface, let me see if I can pull that, um, I'll pull that up. This is funny. So, um, yeah. So if you look at the interface, it says black hole. <laughs> so I'm still, I'm still kind of using that, but, but you know what I did, I went ahead and just modified, uh, the mode and the pitch mode a little bit, and then we can, uh, yeah, so that's kind of cool. But still, I'm still kind of stuck on a black hole. Let me, let's just do this. Let me just insert the, let's just see what the difference is. Uh, so we'll go ahead and uh, just do this for fun. And then I want to go ahead, uh, I'm going to go ahead and give uh, give a couple of these away. Um, I've got three to give away. So we're going to do two of these. Uh, we'll do two of them um, live and then we'll spin the wheel. Uh, for for the other one. Okay, so what are we doing? Okay, there we go. There's black hole, and um, let's just and and honestly, I just pull it up, and most of the time I do just kind of stay with that same because I mean, why mess? I mean, it's just there. It's just there. So now we can come up here and uh, check out the presets, and we don't have to wait for the new year. We'll just um, let's just do um, let's just do Nebula, and just hear what it sound what it does. The thing is, oh yeah, effects take things a that little bit further. Yeah, so, yeah. So there's some that, and I've just got, to, as you know, need to explore some of them. Um, oh well, I'll be back. Let's see. Oh well. It turns the. It just turned the piano into a harpsichord. Oh, that's wild. So let me bypass it. Yeah, so that's what that's that's with it bypassed, and um, wow, that's bypassed, and now let's see. So it's using some crazy. EQ things, uh, but uh, and some resonances, so it turned it into a harpsichord. Okay, one more, one more fun thing. Um, oh wow, uh, chasing trails. So it's all pre-delay. 
So it's got the mix all the way over here. Yeah, so that all that pre-delay, so we can go in and just kind of uh, just play with that mix. So much to discover. <laughs> <laughs> 